One Friday in February, we went to lunch with friends in Trinidad. That's California, not the Caribbean. Our early arrival gave us a chance to make an updated video of one of Humboldt County's most colorful landscapes. It's a favorite spot to which we always take our visitors. Off Trinidad Park was Turtle Rock, a spectacular pine-covered rock in the ocean. Fortunately or unfortunately, the day was foggy bright and the fog kept rising and falling on the scenery. Following our visit to Trinidad Park, we took off to our luncheon rendezvous. Seascape Restaurant was right next to Trinidad Head and we were surprised to find a large construction crew rebuilding the Trinidad Fishing Wharf. An impressive project which would be underway for some time. The workers taking up the Seascape parking space and raising a lot of noise. Seascape Seafood Restaurant is just over 10 minutes from our home in McKinleyville. It's been around for years. Over a decade ago, Christine and I ate there often when we came up from Sacramento to work on our rental. Oh, here are our hostesses with the mostess now. Vivian and Charlotte felt it was only proper to repay us for our Christmas dinner. Since they were not into cooking up dinner parties and come to most of ours, they invited us out to lunch or liner, uh, lunch dinner as they call it. This time around, I decided not to stick my Canon high def video camera in their faces, but, but just shoot around them. As you can see, Seascape looks like a pretty average eatery. Yet because the seafood is so good, it's very popular. By the way, it's owned by an Indian reservation, like our numerous Northern California casinos. With our profuse thanks, we wished the ladies a safe return to Fortuna and decided to see and video some more of Trinidad. Up the road was the HSU Marine Laboratory, an important tourist attraction and busy part of the University in Arcata. Almost next door is Katie's Smokehouse and Fish Market. We occasionally shop there in the old days, but only looked today. Across the street was one of Trinidad's unique cliffside homes. There were more upscale homes across and down the street. On the corner was the well-known Trinidad Bed and Breakfast. It overlooked the famed lighthouse. Modern science has made the landmark obsolete, but it's still interesting. Continuing toward the village, we passed the elementary school and some souvenir shops. For those who have the dollars and want to buy in Trinidad, there's a real estate office. Our last stop before returning home to McKinleyville was at Murphy's Market to buy a few things. And that's about it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.